16 years after he first won the heavyweight championship and almost 10 years since he last possessed it, he has come close to filling Madison Square Garden tonight. Floyd Patterson and Oscar Bonavena and this place, this grand palace, the most famous entertainment place in the entire world, seats almost 20,000. I don't know exactly how many are in attendance, but there must be at least 18,000 people here, and I'm sure that most of them have turned out to see Floyd Patterson. But it takes two to make a fight, and the other man is Oscar Bonavena, a brawling, free-swinging man from down under who figures to make it rough for Floyd Patterson in this, his second comeback. While we're waiting for the fighters to appear, I'd like to quickly run over the rules that pertain here in New York State. They'll be wearing eight ounce gloves. The scoring is on a round basis with a supplementary point system. There's a mandatory eight count if a man is down. The three knockdown rule is in effect, and that means if a man is floored three times in one round, he is automatically continued, uh, considered knocked out. And if he is floored at or near the bell, the count continues until he either rises or is counted out. While we're waiting for Patterson and Bonavena to appear, some of the ring celebrities of other years are being introduced in the ring, uh, brought to the ring by John Conda. Here's Billy Graham, uncrowned welterweight champion of a few years ago. the WBA world heavyweight champion from Louisville, Kentucky, Jimmy Ellis. Jimmy Ellis. Jimmy Ellis is being introduced, the former WBA heavyweight champion, but the roar in the background can mean only one thing, that Jimmy Floyd Ellis. Patterson is on his way to the ring. And here comes Floyd, coming around on the right side of the ring, a towel over his uh, bathrobe, a towel over his head. Goes, Jimmy Ellis. As Jimmy Ellis is being introduced. Oscar Bonavena. Oscar Bonavena. And two middleweight title crowns, five world titles from St. Thomas and the Virgin Islands, Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith. Emil Griffith, the former welterweight and middleweight champion, being introduced. The former middleweight champion of the world, Rocky Graziano. Rocky Graziano, the former middleweight champion and Rocky Graziano. TV celebrity being introduced. Emil Griffith, the only man to win five world titles. Here's Emil Griffith. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here is the 1968 Olympic champion, the Boxing Writers Association Fighter of the Year in 1971, the undisputed, undefeated, heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. Smoking Joe Frazier being introduced and getting a tremendous ovation from the crowd. Let's see where Joe is. Here he comes. Impeccably attired. Joe Fraser. Joe looks pretty good. He's getting a great hand. He's got that infectious smile. Goes over to Patterson, shakes hands with Bonavena and the referee, Johnny Lobianco. Ladies and gentlemen. Patterson at 21 was the youngest man ever to win the heavyweight crown. And at 25, the only man ever to regain the As title. You probably know, tonight is the fourth anniversary of the new Madison Square Garden Center. And on behalf of President Irving Mitchell Felt and the board of directors, we would like to thank you for your patronage over the last four years and your support. We hope you'll have a very enjoyable evening. Now it is our pleasure to present the principals in tonight's feature bout, a 10-round heavyweight bout. The judges are Tony Castellano and Bill Wicks. 
The timekeeper is Freddie Abitiello. The knockdown timekeeper, Tony Perez. And the referee for the main event, Johnny Lobianco. From Buenos Aires, Argentina, wearing blue trunks, he weighs 206 pounds. He has won 47 bouts, lost seven, and has one draw, and he has knocked out 39 opponents. The heavyweight champion of South America, Oscar Bonavena. Oscar Bonavena is 29 years old, and he stands six feet tall. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we are privileged to present the only man ever to win the heavyweight title twice. He has won 54 fights, lost seven, he has one draw, and he has knocked out 32 opponents. Also, the youngest man ever to win the heavyweight title from Newcastle, New York, wearing black trunks, 191 and three quarter pounds, Floyd Patterson, Floyd Patterson. Well, very few Maybe fighters have gotten out. a hand like that. And now the instructions from Johnny Lobianco, the referee. Bonavetta, Patterson, I'm going to brief you on the rules. In the event of a knockdown, you must take an eight count. If you score the knockdown, you go to a neutral corner. Do not come out until I call you. If you don't go to a neutral corner, the count will stop. Three knockdowns in one round automatically end the bout. If you're in a down position and the bell rings, the count will continue with the exception of the last round. When you're in a clinch, you'll be told to break, step back clean. Shake hands now, come out boxing at the bell. Good luck to both of you. Bonavena figures to come out swinging. Patterson figures to beat him to the punch. Patterson is 37 years old. That may count against him. The bell, round one. Patterson, the black trunks. Bonavena, the blue trunks with the red border. Patterson still has the fastest hands among the heavyweights. Bonavena is a free swinging brawler. He can hurt when he hits. And he takes a good punch, but he can be very wild. As you noticed. Patterson can be floored, as his uh, record indicates, but he gets up as a rule. And more often than not, he got up and won. Not a good punch landed yet in this round. Patterson, as a rule, is a headhunter. He rarely goes to the body. was a good one for Floyd Patterson. Bonavena took that punch as though it hadn't even landed. There's a tremendous crowd here tonight and a tremendously excited crowd. Patterson off balance. A minute to go in round one of a 10-rounder at Madison Square Garden. Not too much happening at the moment. One, two, that was more three. of a push. It is not considered a knockdown. That was a shove punch by Patterson, no knockdown. But it shows that Ringo, as he likes to be Call can go down. The round is coming to a close.
After one light tap to the body, Bonavena hasn't scored in this round. Patterson scored about once. Round two at Madison Square Garden. Floyd Patterson is back to the ropes. Bonavena trailing him. One good punch by the ex-champion. Bonavena went 25 rounds with Frazier at 10 and 15 and had Joe down twice in one round and was never floored himself, although he lost both bouts. Now Bonavena is trying to make use of his weight and strength. He outweighs Patterson by 14 and a fraction pounds. Now Patterson definitely is beating Bonavina to the punch with both hands. And I would think that Floyd would try for an early knockout. At age 37, he shouldn't want to stay around too long with a 29-year-old like Bonavina, who is so tough. Those are not bad punches thrown by Bonavena on the inside. They've got to hurt a little bit. A minute to go in round two. If an athlete can be in inspired by the crowd, and they say they are, then Patterson should be inspired by the ovation he got here tonight. Partially blocked. <laughs> Pretty good exchange. Now, if Bonavena can figure that out and keep it up, he can wear his man down. Ten seconds to go in round two. Here we are in the corner of former champion Floyd Patterson. And in the corner with him, facing him head on, is his trainer, Ernie Fowler. On the outside, giving him some water is Jimmy Glenn, a very popular trainer and handler of fighters around the New York area. And the third man is just outside the ring, putting a little Vaseline on the nose of Floyd, and that would be Bill Sequist. There hasn't been much to choose between the two fighters in the first two rounds of action of this 10-round bout before a tremendous crowd at Madison Square Garden. This bout, by the way, was postponed about five times. We all feel fortunate that they're fighting tonight. <laughs> Round three at Madison Square Garden. Bonavena trying to press the advantage, keeping Patterson off balance and beating Patterson to the punch with that left hand. Contrary to a lot of reports, Patterson really is not a boxer. He's a, he's a puncher, a fighter. He boxes on occasion, but more often than not, he goes for the knockout. He ran into that hook. A 
grazing hook by Patterson. Well, Ringo is really throwing them hard now. He's got that look in his eye, the hunter. And he's keeping Pat Patterson backing away. Fine hook by the ex-champion. A solid right hand that just about reached the chin and was partially blocked. Patterson hasn't gotten his rhythm yet. Perhaps because of Bonavena. And Bonavena is in charge at the moment. All of them missed. Patterson looking for an opening. Those quick hands of Floyd Patterson. Bonavena more often than not telegraphs his punches. But they come fast. <laughs> Ten seconds to go in round three. Don Dunphy at ringside, round four of this 10-round heavyweight bout. Next champion, Floyd Patterson and Oscar Bonavena. And the crowd is trying to urge Patterson on. And now Bonavena's supporters are shouting, Ringo, Ringo. punch but they they call it a knockdown well no surprises never end Bonavena is taking charge of the fight however Patterson apparently can't get started The 10 round bout in these early rounds count just as much. Johnny Lobianco, the referee. Three wild ones and a good left hook by Bonavena. And Patterson still bides his time. Now he's hitting. A minute to go as they exchange those right hands. About 30 seconds to go on the round. Patterson opening up good. Ten seconds to go in round four. 
a slight redness around the right eye of Bonavena as Patterson comes on. I just, I just spoke to the referee, Johnny Lobianco, and he says that Patterson was hit with a left hook, and that's what knocked him down. So we have to call that a knockdown. And Patterson was down for the mandatory eight count in the fourth round. Patterson had his back to me, and that's probably why I didn't see the punch. But the referee says he saw it. And we'll go along with that. <laughs> Round five at Madison Square Garden. Floyd Patterson, Oscar Bonavena. And now they're both winging them. Patterson was rough by that right hand. Bonavena may methodically be cutting Patterson down. And Bonavena's come up with a fair jab, something he never had before. Two minutes to go in this round. Bonavena keeps the pressure on Patterson, doesn't let him get started. A minute to go in the round. Just a reminder again, I checked with the referee between rounds and he said Patterson was hit with a left hook. That sent him down in round four. Ten seconds to go in round five. <laughs> round six at Madison Square Garden. Floyd Patterson keeping those gloves up high. Oscar Bonavena. Bonavena protects that chin pretty well with his gloves. Patterson trying to get them down or get past them. Bonavena dug the body pretty good in that clinch.
Patterson nailed Bonavina a pretty good one on the way in that time. There's one official knockdown. Patterson down with a mandatory eight count in the fourth round. Now Patterson is starting to force the action, although at the moment he's not landing. A minute to go in the round. Patterson brought the crowd up with that one. Boys holding and hitting, but Patterson looked like he was kidding when he did it. Patterson in his 20th year as a professional. Ten seconds to go in round six. There goes Bonavena's mouthpiece, and Patterson, the gentleman, says, pick it up. A correction on the mouthpiece. It was Patterson's mouthpiece that fell down. Well, there's a confusion over whose mouthpiece it was. <laughs> it, anyway, it ended up in Patterson's corner. The consensus here is that it was Bonavina's mouthpiece, and I was right the first time. And Bonavina's starting to get mad, which will do him no good. Well, as did somebody say, said long ago, whom the gods destroy, they first make mad. <laughs> Don Dunphy at ringside, round seven. It was Bonavina's mouthpiece that fell out. And Bonavina's starting to get mad. I mean, real mad. You can see the expression on his face if we can get in close on him. He's really mad. Patterson, calm, deliberate. Patterson making a good use of that left jab now, a good stabber. Bonavena ever so strong. punches were blocked. That wasn't. Now Floyd saw an opening there but let it get by and then came in. Ooh. Floyd getting wild. A minute to go in round seven. Bonavena hammering away. 
and keeping Floyd off balance. At 37, you see the same openings you saw at 31, but you don't respond to them as fast. 10 seconds to go in this round. <laughs> round eight, Madison Square Garden. Floyd Patterson, Oscar Bonavena. And Bonavena forcing the action at the moment. Three rounds left. Patterson scores with the jab. Bonavena bores in relentlessly. And one official knockdown so far. It came in the fourth. Patterson down briefly and forced to take the mandatory eight count from a left hook. A wild swing, if it lands, counts just as much in the scoring as a perfectly timed left hook, if it does the same damage. And Bonavena's digging those hooks in there. Good countering by Bonavena. We've had action all the way. The bout has not dawdled. Both men look in pretty good condition at this stage with a minute to go in round eight. Bonavena well off balance that time. Ten seconds to go in round eight. Floyd Patterson, and quite a bit tired as he gets back to his corner, as you can see. Brought up the quite partisan crowd with a stirring last second rally just before the bell ending round eight. Whether it was enough to even out the round for him is something the officials would have to decide. Let's take a look at it in a replay. The flurry at the end, here it is. Don Dunphy at ringside, round nine of this 10 round bout. Lloyd Patterson and Oscar Bonavena. 
Bonavena starting to throw them from the floor again. Although he has fought a remarkably controlled fight, this South American champion. And the crowd is starting to urge Patterson on. Two minutes to go in round nine. Patterson now beating Bonavina to the punch again. A crunching left hook by Bonavina. And the ex-champion is coming on. They've made it interesting, haven't they? One minute to go in round nine. Patterson makes Bonavena hold on. He may have rocked him with that left hook. Crowd getting on Bonavena. This has been a big round for Patterson. Ten seconds to go in round nine. Well, you can hear that tremendous roar in the background. And most of it is for Floyd Patterson for the rally he put on in round nine. According to my scoring, which is entirely unofficial, it's a very close bout. But you don't know. They score on uh, a round basis here in New York. One round is just like another. With a supplementary point system, if the rounds come out even on an official's card. The referee is Johnny Lobianco. The judge is Bill Recht and Tony Castellano. And we're coming up to the tenth and final round. the bell. Johnny has them touch gloves. And the place is a bedlam. A tremendous left hook that was. Patterson seems to have paced himself well. We'll get an interview with the winner when the fight's over. And Bonavena's looking mad again. <laughs> Patterson was giving it to Muhammad Ali that time with the pity pats. But he landed some good ones before that. Floyd. Two minutes left. The 
one knockdown. Floyd down briefly in the fourth round. And apparently a grazing left hook. But Patterson, after a slow start, has come on. And the issue is in doubt. Now it's one minute left in the fight. You can't hear yourself think around here. Patterson has Bonavena in trouble. Ten seconds to go in the fight. Don Dunphy up here in the ring at Madison Square Garden. The decision is in the hands of the referee, Johnny Lobianco, and the judges, Bill Rex and Tony Castellano, and John Condon will announce the decision in just a moment. Here comes the decision. The winner, by unanimous decision, Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson. Floyd Patterson is the winner by unanimous decision. A very disappointed Oscar Bonavena. Patterson goes over and congratulates Bonavena. And they throw the arms around each other.